Almost every year of this great rivalry, at least one of these two teams is ranked. And oftentimes, both clubs are ranked. Texas comes in with a record of 9-2, and two, ranked number 6 in the country, Texas A&M, 7-3, and, and ranked 20th. Victor Ike and Hodges Mitchell are deep for the Longhorns, and we're underway. It's Mitchell who watches it go through the end zone. For, and the son of the great Phil Sims is now your quarterback to the low here. First down, first pass. It's complete. And a gain of two. For the offense, a big offensive line, and it is the biggest in team's history. As a matter of fact, Leonard Davis is the biggest offensive lineman in the country. 6'6", 367 pounds. Davis and Reisler combined are 12 feet 11 inches tall, 682 pounds. <laughs> The skilled people, Cabell, he's a good one. Nunez and Jones. In the backfield, it is Sims, who starts along with Hodges Mitchell and Ricky Brown. Second down, and call it nine. The first run, a gain of two, and that's Mitchell. Up front, there is Bernard, Edwards, and Flemings. Each one had a hand on Mitchell on that play. The linebackers are good. Glenn, Anthony. Gamble and Bradley. They're active. They'll move. They'll bring them. They'll stunt. Webster, Jamison, Jennings, and Cedric Curry is your secondary. And they may be tested here. Third down. They need seven. Look at the top of your screen. Underneath they come. Wide open field. It's Thompson. He's loose. Across midfield. Thompson to the 30. Thompson to the 20. And finally, stop there. Well, if success builds confidence, he's had that early success. Sims almost picked off. High and Cavill at the top of your screen. Flowers at the bottom. Hodges straight ahead. And Hodges down to the 15. Sims changing the play. Aggie showing blitz. Five-step drop. Pressure comes. Throw into the corner. Incomplete. It was intended for Kwame Cavill. So a 32-yard field goal attempt by Chris Stockton. And he's a good one. He's hit 20 of his 28. Strong leg. And it hit the post. First down, Texas A&M. Randy McCown is your quarterback. Big backs, Coombs and Hardeman behind him. Straight ahead, a loss of one. Met by the entire front for Texas A&M offensively. A big offensive line, not as big as Texas, but talented. Mahan, Valletta, McKinney, Haimuli, and Vincent. The wide receivers, Chris Cole, Chris Taylor, and Broughton is your tight end. They also will play Hodge and Bumgarner, and they'll spread the field. McCown, we told you, is the quarterback. Bernard and Toombs in the backfield now. Hardeman will be there as well throughout the day. Second down and 11. Look down. Looking deep. Incomplete. It was intended for Bumgardner. His defensive front is Humphrey, Hampton, Rogers, and Woodard. Casey Hampton and Sean Rogers are as good as you get in college football. The linebackers. Our own Jones, DeAndre Lewis, Everett Rawls. And in the secondary, Brooks, Jackson, Brown, and Ervis Hill from Texas City, Texas. Third down and 11. McCown rolls that way. Gets a block. There's a flag down. It's complete for the first. Early. Holding on the offense, on a pass play, 10 yards from the previous spot. Still third down. And moves AM dangerously deep in their own territory inside of the 10. Play action, looking deep, has a man. Was the catch made? Yes. Chris Cole with a terrific catch and a first down for the Aggies. Coverage is Ahmad Brooks and watch the reception, a one handed spectacular grab. As Cole, they move it out to the 40. First down, Aggies. Jamar Toon still on his 
his feet and into Texas territory. Here they go again. This That's time it. to Hardiman. Yeah. And they do stop him. Bethel Johnson comes in along with Chris Taylor. They are your set now, your wide receivers at the bottom of your screen. And they are quick. Again, here goes Toons. Third down and seven. McCowan throws off balance. Almost picked off. Now a flag comes in late. And this is against the Aggies. Field position, though, and Leckler can jam them deep as well as anyone. Well, he does Gone. look for the corner. Let's see if he gets there. Now it goes into the end zone for a touchback. So first down, Texas. Broken play, Sims in trouble as the agile goes down at the 11. A loss of eight, second down and 18. The give straight ahead to Mitchell, he loses another one. Oh my, Thompson, Cavill, and Flowers, three wideouts. Third down and 20. To the outside they go, and Cavill is taken down at the 18. Home to punt. And Jason Webster and Chris Taylor are back at the 35. This is Taylor, gets a block. Back up near midfield, and there are a couple of flags. We initially there you go. a halo violation. The kicking team was pushed into the receiving team's area, therefore the flag will be waved off. Texas A&M has first down up near midfield. Here's two. And those are Dean's Dell Game Solutions. Second down, Aggies. Option. Late pitch. Toons around the corner, and Toons fights his way to the 45-yard line. Again, to face a third down and five. Taylor, Hodge, and Johnson are your wideouts. They need five. McCown on the corner. He's got company, and he's not going to make it. And you have good field position. Hardeman and Toons, the big guys in the backfield. Straight ahead, no fair dodging. Bingo. <laughs> First down and more. Hey, Coach, that's not dodging right there. Tiki Hardeman. That's coming right down the pipe. Said it was critical for the offense to succeed. Here they are again. Toons. Taken down from behind. Yep. Uh, normally, you see a little bit of a tiring effect. Like a hammer and chisel. Here's the pass to Cole. Cole's loose. Cole to the 10. Inside the five. First and goal at the seven. The hammer and chisel lined up behind McNown. Here he is. Toons to the five, to the four. Second down and goal. Inside the five. Toons. He's close. Touchdown, Texas A&M. The whole stadium is rocking. It has had come out. Bad snap went right through the hands of the holder. Leckler tries to throw it. It could be a return. Here comes the return, and this will be a score for Texas. There's no way he's got two blockers. No penalties. Returned all the way by Lee Jackson. And that'll go on the board for Texas. Not a very wise play by Shane Leckler to try to throw it. Two points for Texas, and watch Jackson. Give him credit. He got the pick. He knew the rule, and he took it the distance. So with 3.49 to play in this return by Jackson, it's 6-2 A&M. So AM would kick off at Shane Leckler, the kicker, to Ike and Mitchell. This will be Mitchell a yard deep, and they'll bring it out. To the 20. Texas AM 6, Texas 2. Major Applewhite with a stomach virus did not start. Instead, the true freshman, young Chris Sims, is at the helm for the Longhorns. Three-step drop. He's got company. 
Now he throws, and it's complete to DeVille. Just a yard short of the first. <laughs> right now, they may check him in about 10 years. I agree with that. <laughs> Whistles fly. Dead ball. Ball start. Prior to the snap. And the offense. Five yards. Repeat the down. Garcia's fun to watch, isn't he, partner? Oh, absolutely. Second down and six. Ball's loose. Is it an incompletion or a fumble? That's an incompletion. Third down and six. Out of the shotgun, Sims rolls. And he runs. He's got the first. Still on his feet to the 45. He'll mark it at the 47-yard line. At the 47. First audible that I've noticed from Sims. And the crowd picks up, trying to block it. Mitchell, a loss of one. Second down and 11 for the Longhorns. Again, the quick toss, intercepted. Brian Gamble inside the 45 with the interception. And Texas A&M has great field position. Bethel Johnson in motion, and he's a speed back. Look out. That'll count as a sack. Great pressure by DeAndre Lewis. Let it go through his hands. Orange 80. Good. Here's Toombs. Third down in a taxi ride. They need 19 to move the chains. McCown has a lot of pressure. Ball's loose. Texas has it. It's Longhorn football. DeAndre Lewis. Final 25 seconds of the first quarter in what has been a wild first quarter here in College Station. AM showing the blitz. Ball's loose again. There's a flag down. AM says they have it. We have no flag on the play. The flag was inadvertently thrown instead of the beanbag on the fumble. No flag. The emotions riding so high every turnover. Second down and 15. Sims wide open. And Cavell has his fourth catch of the afternoon, and there's another flag. What you nice them. It's holding against AM. Yeah, they'll play Nebraska or Colorado. Or Final play of the first quarter. Mitchell inside the 30. Inside the 25 to the 21-yard line. 6-2 A&M. ABC Sports presentation of college football will return after this message and a word from our ABC stations. And the extra point try, two points for Texas. And that's where we are, 6-2. This is Mitchell on the run. He's got room to the 15. The Longhorns have him back. Here's Mitchell. He's got company, breaks the tackle. Look out. Mitchell for the touchdown for the Longhorns. Hodges Mitchell with a 14-yard scamper. And with great explosion. Extra point by Ryan Long is good. And it's 9-6, Texas. Hodges Mitchell. Wow. A&M. And he is dangerous. This will be Johnson taking it at the two. No place to run. Flags fly late. Well, the holding call will push A&M back. All of the seven. First down, Aggies. His feet to the 15 yard line and Jamar Toons. But not when they make them making contact with 10 yards. Again, straight ahead. And Hardeman bangs his way. First down, Aggies. Toons breaks the tackle, runs over another one, and finally three guys forcing backwards. They need seven. This is second down. The big guy straight ahead again. Toons. Tough two. Third down and five. 
that drop throws quickly. It'll be close to the first, a yard short. Chris Taylor with the catch here. This is not one of his better ones. This is a live drive that takes an Aggie bounce. It will be returned, and Garcia brings it back to the 34. Clear skies, sunny, temperatures in the mid-60s. First down, Longhorns. Sims, pressure, sacked. Being very, very sick and then putting a helmet on and coming out and having to function like this, that's what he would have had to do. Sims, play action. Plenty of room on the corner. Throws to the outside. It's complete. Cavill with his fifth catch of the day. He's out. It's amazing that Texas would have a receiver with almost 90 receptions. Third down and short. It's over. Going to be close to the first, but Cavill with another catch, and he's 90 receptions for the year. 1956, Bob Bryant had 24 receptions. He's been the leader in season receptions ever since. The exact same thing, and it's working extremely well. The offense of the next millennium. Hodges Mitchell loses his footing, loses two yards. 8.49 to play in the first half. It's Texas 9, Texas A&M 6. Third down and 7 for the Horns. Blitz is coming. Makes it complete. Cavill's got the catch. First down, Texas. What a play by Chris Sims, the freshman. Oh. Thompson in motion. Sims with time. And right through the hands. Sims now 7 for 12. 100 yards. Hodges Mitchell. Carries the pile with him to the 40. Third down and seven. Out of the shotgun, Sims. Throws another strike to Cavill. And it's a first down for Texas. Going his strength. Gain of 16, first down Longhorns. Here's Hodges Mitchell. Look out, gets a block. Breaks to the outside, inside the 15 to the 13 yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. Mitchell again. Inside the 10. Deep in Texas A&M territory. Sims to Hodges. Mitchell straight ahead inside the 5 to the 2. Hodges, Mitchell, and Quan. First down and goal. Thompson in motion. Hodges with the ball. Hodges Mitchell close to the goal line. No signal. They'll mark okay, it. Right now, Texas A&M needs a miracle. Second down and goal. Straight ahead they go. Touchdown, Texas. Impressive drive by the Longhorns. And Chris Robertson with the touchdown, Stockton with the extra point. Every time Robertson touches it, he scores. 11 touchdowns and seven touches. Texas 16, A&M 6. Balanced attack by the Longhorns, and they've taken a 10-point lead with 5.19 to play in the first half. Stockton booms this one. Johnson all the way back to the back line and downs it there. The well, in that same light, it's too early for a and to panic. They have to be patient, just do what they decided to do with their game plan. That's the big guy running straight ahead up to the 20. And that's the problem. Two. Second down and 10. Toombs loses yard. Texas front four is the best in the country, in my opinion, bar none. McCown to throw, does over the middle. Look at the Johnson incomplete. Bethel Johnson had a step. Certainly not up to his caliber. And this one's not a great one. This one goes up to midfield and gets an AM bounce down inside the 45. Well, they can't go into halftime trailing by more than what they are now. Texas again with great field position and Sims looking deep. Going for the home run. And it's incomplete intended. Second down again, the blitz. And this time, Hodges Mitchell is stopped in his tracks. And a redshirt freshman.
see what AM, AM does here. They're in a two deep and third down and ten. Sims rolls around the corner and is tagged as he goes out of bounds, and now a flag comes in late. Flag will be picked up. Flag is picked up, no penalty. As he stepped up. This is a high tail wagger. Taylor will field it at the 10, and he'll try to return it. And does to the 15, so a it's gotten quiet now. First down for the A&M Aggies. Again, McNown doesn't throw. Inside the five. Throws it up for grabs and out of bounds. I bet you did. Now my brother played with the Razorbacks back in that general time of the era. Randy McCown again. Up behind center. And the give is to Hardiman. They have really struggled. McCown is three for seven. He needs one now. Third down and five. Throws to the corner and bounces it out in the direction of Chris Taylor. Gonna get it done. It's gone. Lecter gets a good punt this time. It's a high one. It'll be taken by Garcia. And he's hit almost immediately. Good coverage by and once again the Longhorns at the 44. First down. Sims. Late to Cavill. No, incomplete. From the shotgun. The Horns need 10. No! Incomplete. I don't know. From that angle, it was hard to see if he was in bounds. Third down and 10. Sims goes down again. Ron Edwards. This is Ryan Long. A lot of pressure coming. Ball blocked. Texas AM and makes a block. Michael Jamison. We got there first team that needed a big play and got one. One ten left in the first half. It's over, it's over. Tiki Hardeman. The Aggies pick up the tempo. McCown looks. It was intended for Chris Taylor. From the shotgun. McCown with a lot of pressure. No. And throws incomplete. Threw it in the direction of Cole. Well, the Aggies are going for it on fourth down and nine. Out of the range of Kitchens. The game has been inconsistent field goal-wise. And here's McCown in a lot of trouble. Looking for a block. Throws back across his body, and it's intercepted. And now they rule it off and say it's incomplete. I think Texas goes conservatively here, especially in that formation. They go down and take a knee and say, Chris, you've done a nice job. We've got a 10-point lead. Final second ticks off. Let's take you back to New York to John and Terry. The great uh, traits of people come out. Now, there wasn't a dry eye in the house here at halftime. Ethel Johnson takes it five yards deep. He takes a knee, and they'll bring it out to the 20 on the extra point attempt that was essentially two turnovers costing them nine. Texas A&M starts the way they ended it with a run by Toons off the left side. Well, I'm glad they're back to football. I couldn't take much more of that halftime. Wow, it was emotional. Second down and nine. Toons across the 30, it'll be a first down, move the chains. The Aggie band had formed a silent T, and there was silence. They took a knee, took their helmets off. It was extremely moving. It's over, it's over. Again, they run straight ahead. This time, Tiki Hardeman, who's... Again with the run, Toombs, oh, as he drilled, as he comes up to the line of scrimmage. Strongest guy on that Texas team, bench presses 460 pounds, squats 600. No. And the count's pass is blocked. Here's a low snap to Leckler. He gets off a high wobbler. And Garcia calls for the fair catch. 12.35 to play in the third quarter. 16 to 6, Texas. Longhorns with their first possession of the second half. Chris Sims is your quarterback and throws a strike to Cavill. And Cavill, 8 of 16 with the one interception that doesn't count in my books for 116 or 118. As productive as he was, he was tattooed several times. 
Here's the give to Hodges. Hodges Mitchell. Third down, they need a long two. Crowd picks up as he calls an audible. Here's Mitchell. He's going to be close. I'm not sure he got it. He can't play today. Here's Stockton, and his punt is a low punt. Return to the 27-yard line. 10.53 to play third quarter. We'll see if AM can get something going offensively. McCown hit, and I mean driven back by Cedric Woodard. It's playing so well. His improvement allowed Woodard to move to defensive end. Here's McCown again. Looks down. Oh, great defensive play in the secondary by Lee Jackson. That was his eighth straight incomplete pass. Pressure comes. Now he throws incomplete nine in a row. And at this point of the game, the defense for Texas is executing much better than the offense for AM. Is this ball touched? Recovered by AM. We'll find out if it's touched. It was Texas AM football. Did Garcia touch this one? Boy, I don't know. Boy, it would have had to hit the shoulder pad because it didn't touch his hand. Wow. We need another look at that one. Here's Toons. Look out. Toons inside the 20. Hits his shoulder pad. I don't know. Doesn't seem to to me. Change the direction of the ball. Jamar Toons got a first down. It's first down Aggies. Here he is again. Toons to the 15. Changes to me. Here's the pitch back. Looking for help. Tunes to the 13. Seven beats three, two. Third down and six. Keep in mind, McCowns missed his last nine passes. Stumbles, throws underneath. This is cold. He'll be close. Didn't make it. Fourth down and a long one. He'll be close. I think he got it. Yeah, I do too. He's short. Ooh. He is short. Texas stopped him. Can the horns get out of there? It's up to the freshman, Chris Sims. Pumps and looks deep. Throws into coverage and throws deep and incomplete. Second and ten, Mitchell. Games three. Now they spread it. Texas needs seven across the middle. Incomplete. Standing four yards deep in the end zone. Low spiraling punt. Taken by Taylor, who is just caught. 15, 20 more yards of... Dylan is not there. And he's Number. a guy, Tim, who has had, what, four blocks this season. See what they do here. Second down, Aggies. A count. There's a timing pattern to Johnson, and Johnson makes a catch inside the 20. First down, Aggies. Three-step drop again. They go to the corner looking for their tight end incomplete than ever before because of the schemes. Texas jumps. Everybody jumps. We'll see who oh, went first. That looked like Humphrey. No, I think you're right. I think it's against Texas. It is. So we cut the distance in half. It's second down. The Aggies need five. And Toons inside the ten. Third down and a long two. Here's Toons. Breaks a tackle. Inside the five. Jamal Toons. Touchdown, Aggies. It's gone. Kitchens with the extra point. And it's good. 
So he splits the sticks. They add one more. It's a three-point game with 447 to play in the third. And they got him a deep route. That didn't hurt. Leckler kick off. Ike and Mitchell are deep. And this one will go out of bounds. And again, the kicking game. First down, Texas. Hodges Mitchell with a gain of three. Right now, let's go down to Chip Tarkington. Second down for Sims. With pressure, throws a strike. And the Longhorns move the chains to freshman. Just a youngster. Play action. Great fake. Pressure, and he goes down. Second down. And long. The pressure comes. Almost picked off. Third. And 15. Time for Ryan Long gets off a very good low kick. Johnson takes it and fumbles it. And AM gets it back. And beginning this year, Chevrolet also donates two $1,000 high school scholarships. Big hole, Toons. And Broughton and Kazurski are nice players, but they aren't, that's not a strong position for them. Second down and short. Here's Toons again. He's got the first down. I think he has gotten to that point. First down, AM. Tunes again. Nothing. Great penetration. Second down and 11. Tunes breaks one. Gets back across the original line of scrimmage. Well, that's the end of the third period. Texas 16, AM 13, ABC Sports presentation of college football. We'll return after this message and a word from our ABC stations. This whole stadium is rocking. Get seasick standing in here. Right now, the momentum belongs to the Aggies, but they're faced with third down and nine, and McCown hasn't been sharp. He is here. He's got the completion. Move the chains. That has to bow its back. Inside the 40, second down and five. Got him again. Again, we'll see who flinched first. Flags fly everywhere, and it's pretty hard to get. Tried to anticipate the count and got caught. Artiman. Artiman's got a first down. Madison was rocking the way it is here in College Station today. First down, Aggies. Nowhere to run for Toombs. And he's run out of bounds. So Toombs is over 100 yards. And it's second down and long for the Aggies. Ball's loose. Texas has got it. Lee Jackson saw it. Nobody else did. He makes the recovery, and Texas gets the ball back. And look who just made an appearance. Major Applewhite. He set a UT freshman record for passing yards, total yards, touchdown. He's improved in all those as a sophomore, and he comes out and throws a strike to Flowers. Second down and four. He's coming on the blitz. Texas beats him and picks up two. Get a long drive. Audible. After right, broken play, looks for help, and throws it away. Let's, let's That was a mental lapse. Could be because of but, the illness. Delay yeah. of game. He took too much time. Third down. They need seven. His stamina, though, is where I was going. That's a key issue. The Aggies show blitz. They come with it. He throws another strike, and the ball is dropped by Thompson. So 
They come on to punt. Ryan Long with another spiraling punt that takes Taylor back to the 33. And again, Texas A&M will have good field position with 11.36 to play. Texas and Texas A&M. And the Aggies have good field position, but Toombs is closed down. Second down and E10. McCown, incomplete. <laughs> no, I get you. I'm just saying on that play, it's not as easy as it looks. 19 passes. That was three games for you at Oklahoma. <laughs> That's a career. Here's McCown again. This time he throws incomplete again for Taylor. Once today, he's averaged just over 42 yards. That's it's under gone. his average, but he gets a hold of this one. This is a high tail wagger that hits inside the 10 and is downed at the three. Great kick, great job of coverage. It's the loud end of the stadium, and that's what Major Appleby is up against. First down, and Applewhite hands off, and there's a flag down. Basically the ladder there. This is when the crowd becomes such a factor that's half the distance to the goal. Says he looks young and he looks small, but he can get it done. We'll see here. Hodges uh, Mitchell. Here they've got the lead. They're just backed up. Second down and short. Mitchell again to the 10. He's met there by Lonnie Madison. Here he is. Major Applewhite. Third down and two. Hodges uh, Mitchell breaks a tackle. He's not going to get there. The wrecking crew. You just want this good field position. They're coming. Right. Here they come. Here's Taylor. That and again is taken down. Odds in motion. They give to Toons. Sports. Toons again. Battles his way down to the 41. They need that here. Third down and three. They make the stop. Toombs does not get to the yardage needed. They need a yard and a half for a first down. It is fourth down Aggies, and they're going for it. You've got to. It'd be a 57-yard field goal attempt. Here's Toombs. He'll be close. He's it got it, like He's got it. There's a look at Toons. First down, Aggies. Here he is again. Picks up a yard. That's it. Aaron's Kitchens has already hit a 62-yarder this year. Aggies trail by three. Second down and nine. Oh, he's got it. Corner. It's complete to Cole. Chris Cole with the catch. Hill was 5'9", the two cover corners. But Jim, that's a great point. The Texas coaches, they want him to have to work for it. Second down and 11. McCown to the corner. Touchdown, Texas A&M! Matt Bumgardner! One, two, three, throw. Throws it on time. Perfectly thrown ball. Almost a little push off there, but you can't call that. Good no call at position, and his height helped him once again as we just talked about the height advantage. Shane Leckler splits the sticks. And the Aggies have taken the lead with 5.02 left in the ball game. Well, Nebraska 13-3, and Iowa 20-10. Hodges Mitchell will bring it out. Look out. And he's out to the 27. And needing to take his team down to score and win. Well, I've got all the faith in the world in Major Applewhite when he's healthy. Here's the three-step drop. Waits, looks, and throws. That ball's going to be overthrown. And Chris Sims was 10 of 21 for 130 yards. Here's second down and 10. Applewhite. Underneath. Almost picked off. Wow, Michael Jamison. With time, flags fly. 
and he's got a completion. It's caught by Brandon Healy. My bad, and negate a fabulous play by Major Applewhite. They only bring three at him. Plenty of time. Throws across the middle. It's complete. Short of the first down to Cavill. And Long will punt it deep. This one hits at the 40 and gets a Texas roll inside the 30. Down to the 26-yard line. A 39-yard punt. 2016 AM. Tunes across the 30. Second down, tunes again. Third down and five for the Aggies. And again, it's tunes. Tunes will be short of the first by about a yard and a half. Punt is his best of the day. Boy, he booms this one. It'll stop at the 11-yard line. And once again, right here, we have 152 left in the ballgame. Texas A&M 20, Texas 16, and the Longhorns are backed up. Look the flowers. Applewhite looks deep, throws deep in the coverage incomplete, and he throws to Flowers. They let keep everything in front of them, and the secondary is playing soft. Second down and 10. Applewhite throws underneath, has the completion to the 22-yard line. Hodges Mitchell, a record just set by Major Applewhite today, the Big 12 single-season record. That was Kurt Detmer, of course, with Colorado. More important things for Applewhite right now, he wants to move the football in the bonfire accident. Applewhite on the draw. Mitchell's got a hole. He's got room out across the 30. And is hit hard at the 37, but it's another Texas first down he's ever had. You know, he has not fumbled now for some 240 consecutive plays. He's over 100 yards rushing today. First down, Texas. Blitz is coming. And there's your experience of Major Applewhite. Second down. And 10. Another catch by Cavill to the 40. It's a gain of five. Calling the protection to the offensive line based on what he sees defensively. 43 seconds left in the game. Applewhite throws a strike to the 46. Texas has to get a touchdown. A field goal won't do it. They trail by four. 30 seconds left. Applewhite is sacked. Ball's loose. Brooks forced the fumble, and they're still wrestling at the bottom of the pile. AM thinks they have it. This is the game. It is over. Aggies have got it. Jay Brooks, 21, comes on a corner blitz right there. No one picks him up. He slaps the ball. Major Applewhite tries to get on it, but this day is meant for the Aggies. Not two weeks, but eight days, which has been a kaleidoscope of emotions, not only for those here in College Station, but throughout the state of Texas, throughout the country. The Aggies dedicated this game to the 12 victims, the 27 injured, nine straight winning seasons, seven straight bowl bids. He gets it done, and he gets it done with class. But you're right, this day belongs to the Aggies. And the quarterback coach was diagnosed with Luke Gehrig's disease. Then the 12 dead. I mean, it's just been an incredible year and an incredible upset here by Texas A&M today over the University of Texas. They've never had a sweeter victory than this. Ever. Texas A&M 20. The Longhorns of Texas 16.